Hi, Coach George from SoccerTutor.com here. This is the brand new Tactics Manager version 1.8. It's going to show you some of the brand new features that we've uh, introduced. So at the top here you can see two icons. One of them's faded out and that is the Save icon. Next to that is the Save As. Now that's just been introduced. This is just make it so much simpler to manage your files, save them and just work a lot quicker. So if I open up the open folder, you can see that it's changed slightly. Now if I'm going to open up an existing folder and select a practice, press open. So from here, I can quite easily just modify this uh, practice if I wanted to. As you can see at the top right hand corner, it's got an asterisk. That means that it's not been saved. So if I want to save it, I'll just press this save icon here and a little pop-up comes up that alerts me that it's been saved successfully and that's it. Now if I wanted to save this practice to a different file and modify it, I can quite easily press this save as icon at the top right and then I can name it whatever I want. I'm just going to name it number two, press save and that's been done. So if I press open again, you can see it's been added to the uh, category that I've already opened. Now, as you can see, I open this folder and when I open it again it automatically remembers the folder that I've opened and goes straight to it before that didn't happen now there's another way you can do it is you can highlight the, the practice or the file right click press copy right click press paste and then it adds a duplicate straight away within seconds so if I wanted to modify the file name I can simply just double click on the file name modify it and that's done so now I've got the original which is move move two and then move three so it's two ways that you can duplicate or copy an existing practice and then of course you can modify it later as well subcategories is, is so much better now so if I wanted to create a subcategory within the folder that I've got open just press the new category I'm just going to call this passing under 11s for example press create now that's added a folder or a category within the, the main category. So what I can do to organize my practices into sessions or training schedules, you can just simply drag and drop it right onto the folder and then it moves it. So if I open up the subcategory, you can see that the two that are dragged and dropped in there are there and uh, you can also create another category within another category. So this way you call this combinations for example press create and then that adds that category within it if you want combinations within the uh, the main folder then you just simply drag drop in there and that's done it's really simple it's very accurate and quick to use now it doesn't really seem like a lot but believe me it makes your workflow so much quicker now the other thing that we did is uh, we've added the option to order your objects back to front or top to bottom. So I'm just going to add a player here and I'm going to add a ladder. Now as you can see the ladder is right on top of the player. Now to have the ladder on the floor and the player on top all you do you can select the ladder and then press to back and that's it. So if you notice the icons are not there until you select an object then they appear at the bottom. So another situation is you might have a mannequin on the pitch and you've got another player and you may want this player to appear behind the mannequin. Just select the player and move one behind and that's done it. Same again, so the mannequin just select it, centre back and it's done. Another improvement is the layout here. So we've got players on top, then the next one is the equipment. Now if you notice the equipment, they're not in just one long line, so there's no scrolling down anymore. You've got the equipment side by side a lot quicker to select your equipment and drag onto the pitch. Underneath the equipment are the tools, very important, use this all the time and then you got your session viewer followed by formations and subs for team formations. 
so that's it for today if you've got an old version of tactics manager and you want to upgrade to the new 1.8 you can do so free of charge if you're not a user then you can go ahead and purchase a copy it's a one-time purchase for life and you can do that at any time it works on pc and mac hope you enjoyed this quick demo today till next time all the best